is so many things wrong. Let's just look at the, the most important things in our environment right now. What, what are some things we should be focused on? Well, in our homes, there are a lot of things that we come in contact with. An important thing to remember is all of these things we come in contact with, we come in contact in very small amounts, but we come in contact with them every single day. And these things begin to accumulate in our bodies because the detox system that we have, and it's good, it gets rid of almost everything, but not quite. So we put some things aside and our bodies say, we'll get to it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The problem is tomorrow there's a new onslaught of toxins. And so we build what we call our own body burden. And we carry that with us. And some people are more sensitive to that body burden mm -hmm. and they start to develop some kinds of symptoms. Well, who, who's most at risk here? Well, everyone's at risk. But the most at risk group are young children and pregnant mothers. Pregnant mothers because we have found that all of these toxins, all of these chemicals, all of the heavy metals, the mercury in the fish that a pregnant mother might have at a sushi bar, all of these things cross the placenta. Mm -hmm. So a study that was done by the Environmental Working Group has shown that there are over 200 toxins in umbilical cord blood at the time of birth. So these babies oh, sure. are being exposed in utero and they have no detox system whatsoever. Well, what are some of the things we're talking about here? What are some of the products and things that we should be aware of? Well, the products we have here on the table, I think we started here with talking about simple things like plastics. Mm -hmm. Everybody hears about plastics and everybody yeah. knows about BPA and that's bisphenol A. And the fact that BPA, particularly in children, is a hormone disruptor. Mm -hmm. It affects the immune system and it can lead to slow learning and so on. And so we know that BPA is in plastics, but most people don't realize that there are other things that are in everyday items like paper plates. We have white paper plates. Well, that white color comes from using something called dioxin. And dioxin is a chemical which is a known carcinogen. And it's okay to put cold food probably on that, but if you put hot food on a paper plate that's all white, then that dioxin gets into the food. Is it a lot of dioxin? No. Right. Is it a little today, yeah, a little next tomorrow, week, yeah. sure. a little next week? And these are organics. And the thing about something like dioxin is what we call a persistent pollutant. It never goes away. And so the white plates are a real problem for us. Styrofoam. You can see that styrofoam mm -hmm. cups, we use them a lot. Mm -hmm. They have a number inside the, the plastic, and I think you can see it right here. This has the number six. What does yeah. that mean? The it tells you the kind of plastic. So right here, yeah. so if you hold it real still, they can see that right there. Okay, that six in that triangle. Okay. In the triangle, and every plastic <clears throat> item will have a number. The numbers that you have to remember out there, that, that the audience should remember, are three, six, and seven. Seven is where BPA is, mm -hmm. six is styrofoam, and when you put hot items on styrofoam, styrene gets into the food, and styrene is a car carcinogen. Well, we, um, we have a, micro, or a, a videotape of what happens when you put something like this into the microwave. Take, let's take a look at this. Tell us what's happening here. Well, obviously they're putting it in the microwave right. oven, and right now the heat that is going into that cup is going to cause some of the styrene in the styrofoam to get into whatever liquid is there. Right. So. Oh, good Wow. Lord. Wow. What happened there? Well, what happened is you can see that the cup is a little bit yeah. disfigured. So it went somewhere and yes. more likely it went into, into, the, liquid. The, into the liquid. So um, uh, I dry clean stuff a lot off suits and things like that. And you're, uh, let me address this because I see you have a dry cleaner bag here. What I do, I do. This is one of the things that people need to be aware of. And that is that dry clean, I used to think dry cleaning meant that they really didn't use any liquid. Right, yeah, yeah exactly. But I, I would so say beat it with a baseball bat. Right. Yeah, exactly. They'd yell at it, but, get yes, clean. Get clean. Know? But right. no, instead they use something called uh, trichloroethylene, which is better than carbon tetrachloride, which was what they used to use, uh -huh. but that's outlawed. Trichloroethylene is used here and it is a probable carcinogen and it is an endocrine disruptor, which means it stimulates endocrine receptors like estrogen receptors, but it's not an estrogen. Yeah. Now, the, the thing about it is when you hang this up in your closet, all of this plastic is keeping all of that off-gassing inside. inside. If you just take the plastic coating off outside, 
outside. you've done yourself outside. Let it go into the air, okay. rather than in your closet. Yeah, no, I all take right, them well, off all the time. Let, uh, let's, let's problem solve here. Yeah. We, we've got sure. the problem, what's the solution? The solution is the use of certain kinds of, of chemicals that are more wholesome, using paper plates and cups, for example, that are made of sugar cane, that are made of vegetable product. I have them right there in front of us. Are you Those are about all, this right here? Yes, okay. here. that's made out of vegetable product, and so is the, the other plates. These cups are made out of plant product. They and so when you put hot liquid in here, nothing is going to Nothing, come out. there's yeah. no chemical additive to you that You know, when whatsoever. I saw this, I was a little nervous because I have this, oh, I have so much of this. Well, this, this is the bad? good stuff. No, oh, this okay, is the great I have stuff. so much of it. You know what? Yeah. I always tell people, when the holidays come, that's the time to break out the china, not the paper plates. Right. Yeah. Okay, when you have guests over, it's the time to bring out the glass. Sure. You could right. store in glass in Pyrex forever. Right, okay. There's no chemicals that come well, in. Those are the safety things. And we, with furniture, yeah. there's one thing I should mention. Most of the furniture, like the couches we're sitting on, are treated with uh, flame retardants. Yeah. That is a chemical that gets on our hands. Very important thing to realize is we should wash our hands and our right. kids' hands when they're going to eat after being well, We're going to put a lot of this stuff yeah. uh, on our website. Great, great solution, discussion. and it certainly uh, provokes a lot of thought.